My name is uh, Dennis Perry. I grew up in Illinois for about eight years. Moved to Virginia Beach, and I'm 47 now. I grew up with two brothers, and we were very competitive. Uh, football, basketball, baseball, track, everything. I received a phone call from a discharge planner at Virginia Beach Psych Hospital. And she told me that she had one of my members, and she was told that I was his care coordinator, that he was going to be discharged soon, but they could not find placement for him. So at that point, now I had not met Dennis yet, but I looked at the clinicals that were faxed into us, and I saw that Dennis had schizoaffective disorder with depression. And he also had a history of drug abuse along with some chronic medical issues that he had as well, and that it was not safe for him to go home. So we needed to be able to find a place for him where he could go straight from hospital to inpatient. So my first instinct was to call my friend Amy. Gigi called me and said, Amy, I have someone that needs some assistance. So what I did was I called the hospital and got the information from the person that I work with there and saw that he would be a good candidate to go to a monitored detox and residential service. Amy got on it right away. We called numerous uh, facilities around the state of Virginia. We knew that he had had a trauma to the lower leg, so I had to find one that could accommodate a wheelchair. It's a very fragile time, and I knew that I needed for him to see the importance of him going into an inpatient stay during this time because he wanted to change his life. He wanted a better life. And I wanted that for him. So he agreed. He agreed to go. And that made me happy because I knew we were, we were on our way. Let's either go there or die, you know. I, I, I don't want to die that young. <laughs> so. But it's, it's, it's saved my life. It actually saved my life. I do want to thank Magellan for that. That means a lot to me. Dennis was not a subscriber ID number. Dennis was my brother. And I just wanted to help him as I would if I was helping my family member. What I would want somebody to do for me. We don't give up on any one of our members. He had a care coordinator like myself with Magellan, a case manager with the CSB, and other staff on board assisting him, and he wasn't alone. They had like five or six people working just for me at one time. Greta is such a sweetheart, you know, she'll call on me just to check on me. And that's, we need, we, we need more people in this world like her. I like seeing people expand their lives into things that they never knew that they could do. Magellan helped me out so much with going to rehab. I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I have a chance to tell my story. So right now, he's comfortable where he's living. He has his Magellan team helping him, his providers, everything is in place. So we're just continuing with the follow up and follow through to assure that these services are maintained. If you need help, ask for it. That's, the, that's what people are there for. Life is, is, is so fun and enjoyable. And uh, so therefore, I chose, I chose to live another day. <laughs>